Hi, I'm Zoe with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library, and today we're looking at two nonfiction book recommendations. I know for a lot of readers, nonfiction can be really hit or miss. So for today's topic, I've picked something that is always a wild ride, corporate scandals. Our first book today is Radium Girls, the dark story of America's shining women. This was published in 2017 and made it onto all of the recommended reading lists. If you still haven't tried it, you may want to give it a look. Radium Girls delves into the radium dial factories, where hundreds of women were employed to paint radium onto watch faces to make them glow. Throughout the workday, these women would become covered in radium dust, and factory protocol even encouraged them to lick their brushes. But as girl after girl developed radium poisoning, factory officials continued to deny that radium had any ill effects. This book is an account of these women, their horrifying decline in health, and the court battle against the corporation willfully poisoning them. It's a fascinating read, though it can be tough to stomach the descriptions of radium poisoning. Now, it's no secret that Radium Girls got a lot of attention when it first came out, so you may have already read it. And if that's the case, here's another book in a very similar vein. You might enjoy Exposure, Poisoned Water, Corporate Greed, and One Lawyer's 20-Year Battle Against DuPont. It's another corporate scandal, but this particular account is written by a first-hand witness, the lawyer responsible for bringing charges against the DuPont Corporation. Some of you may remember seeing DuPont's legal battles in the news, as bits of this story hit the media throughout the 2000s. But the story stretches back decades. The DuPont company had an excellent reputation among chemical companies, until it was revealed that they were knowingly dumping chemical waste in the water supply. This is the story of how half a dozen towns and hundreds of citizens battled a chemical giant. Since this case was finally closed a few years ago, more and more details have become available to the public, and this story even inspired a documentary. This is the lawyer's first-hand account of how he discovered DuPont's 50-year cover-up, the horrifying things that he saw, and his 20-year fight to bring justice to these poisoned communities. If you like deep diving and many layered scandals, think about giving exposure a try. I hope you enjoyed these books and stay tuned for more programs and recommendations from your local library.